have one match called off. And we're going to get three. That's a good shot from Bob Bernie Square. The wicket that's going to run, run away for four. Second boundary of the morning. It's the man in form, Andy Bal Bernie. In form, you called it. Just letting the ball come on. Just easing it past that point fielder. Made sure that he opened the face and got the boundary. Runs under his. Another good shot as well. Pushed down the ground. That's going to run all the way for four. So two consecutive boundaries for the batsman that can bat himself out of a hole just by occupying the crease. Got it out. He's got a fantastic men. And just as we say it, William Porterfield goes. Pace, but here we will see it again. And again. And down, Ireland, 34 for two. Oh, yes, that looks absolutely plumb. And Niall O'Brien is gone. It's three down. As we see here. High, but he's not the tallest of men, so every chance that was going on to hit the bills. And that's 38 for three, Ireland. Certainly would have helped his mentality. When you're finding your feet in the international team. You know, you, you want to get that job done as a batsman. Get... Oh, and that's another one gone. Very poor shot there from Balberni. Slight bit of a way movement. Kevin O'Brien, but we're just seeing the wicket falling again and really a ball that Andrew Balberni didn't have to play at at this particular time and uh, oh and that's terrible fielding again from Afghanistan Rashid Khan the culprit this time and and that's really trademark Kevin O'Brien into early wickets pulled by saying beautiful stroke into the outfield, that's going to run away for a boundary four. But less pressure, less scoreboard pressure. Pulled by O'Brien, there's no man at deep square leg. That's going to be four more runs and wickets coming to plenty this morning. In two deliveries. Big appeal this time, given, that's the fifth wicket. O'Brien falls to Rashid Khan, LBW again for the second time in two innings. It's googly again, Kevin O'Brien trying to turn this to the leg side and gets hit right in front. He's not picked that or maybe just overcompensating, trying to go towards that offside, gets his man. He's out for 16, 70. 17 overs gone. Big appeal. Given. That's the sixth wicket of the innings. Rashid Khan is on fire in Stormont. Ireland, 72 for six. Big wicket here. The googly again. Hitting in line. It'll run off the face of the bat by Gary Wilson. That's nicely, nicely played. There's no slip in place. And it's going to run away all the way for four. Base on this pitch. <laughs> and what a start. That's has to go back well again another LBW and just that little wee bit of movement on by Neil taking his time and was satisfied that was going to go on and hit the stumps and Gary Wilson gone for 23 109 oh, that looks absolutely plump and that's LBW number five so accurate, always targeting and level for eight. Oh, that's a good shot from Andrew McBrien. It's going to race away for four. But he'll be extremely happy with that catch. Fantastic catch. And then, if you remember, similar shot from William Porterfield. He's taken a few off Bob Allen has. On the boundary within the inner circle. McBride out for 16, 109. Of course, a surprise wicket for Asgar Afghan in his solitary over as well. Struck down the ground by Boyd Rankin towards Long On. That's taken. That's the end of the Ireland innings. Ireland all out for 124.
in the 37th over. Here we have the replay. Navi tosses it up. Boyd Rankin puts his long arms through it. And just short of the boundary there, John. Gulbuddin takes the catch. Uh, Andrew's going to... Card after to have Ahmed. Two for 22 off seven, Majib. None for 19 off seven. Gulbuddin, two for 34 off his five. That ball is up in the air. Tim Murtis underneath it, and it's out, gone. Well, early success for Ireland. Just the start that Ireland wanted there. Short, wide. Shazad threw his hands at the ball. Then the track again. Over mid-off. Glorious strike. It's going to run all the way for six. What a shot that is. Making his own length. It's a lovely shot. All the poles hit the middle of the bat. Cracking balance. But got to the ball and smashed it. Short from Rankin, pulled away. That's going to be four runs. Yeah, two slips. Two gullies. Cut away, glorious. Kevin O'Brien just been pulled out of deep third man. And just been over as well from Ireland. Ah, that's wonderful. Ramacha showing off all those skills that Bazi Khan is talking about. Wonderful batting again from Ramacha. Clearing over the infield, running away for... Driven this time, it beats William Porterfield at mid-off. That's going to be back-to-back -back boundaries. Sensational batting from Ramacha. Big shout, given! That's the wicket that William Porterfield wanted. He went back to his main man, Murta, and Tim Murta strikes. Extremely good, but has to go. The ball just angling back. Ball comes back in, and he's right in front. Mortag again, strikes! Tim Murta strikes, and it just gives Ireland a little bit of hope. Ramachah, he made 33 off 35 balls. Oh, and that is a huge shot. Eased in the way for six. Fantastic. Not. And again, poor delivery from Boyd Rankin. Oh, that's a class shot. Just in front of... There we go again. You can see the talent. You can see the class that they do possess. It's about... Pulled away. There's two fielders down there. It's going to split both of those. Paul Sterling, one of those. Total. That's another four runs. Pulled away to mid-wicket. Goes all the way to the boundary. And the target now. Two runs required. And that's it. Might as well do it in style. Wheel around to mid-wicket. Batting performance. Never got going at all. Little hope for Ireland. Afghanistan at 53 for two. But in the end, it's Janat and uh, Shahid, Shahidi who take them home to victory by eight wickets. And they win the series by two matches to one. Yeah, they win the series comprehensively. And you have to say, John, well-deserved. They've played the better cricket over the three games. Ireland's batting affair has just Andy Balberni aside. They haven't fired. They haven't got the runs required. And they've paid the price with a 2-1 defeat. Very, very deserved victory for Afghanistan here today and in the series. So congratulations to Afghanistan. A shake of the hands from the umpires and the Irish players to the two Afghanistan batsmen.